Well, let's go on to the M&A rumours and movers. OK. Um, right, so uh, the Weather Channel may be up for sale. Not, not, not perhaps the most interesting topic, but it's surprising when you dig down a bit, a bit deeper into it. So uh, currently owned by a combination of private equity of Blackstone and Bain and uh, the broadcaster NBC. They may be looking to divest themselves from the company that they bought for around three and a half billion dollars, so a decent sum, back in uh, 2008. There's no uh, likelihood of a, of, a, of a deal to be done imminently, um, but uh, the, the sale price would probably just be a fraction over $3 billion, but not probably as much as the $3.5 billion that the company's paid back in 2008. Uh, they've engaged Morgan Stanley and a bank I've not come across before, PJT, a boutique investment bank, to advise the owners. Just to give people a flavour of what's up for grabs, the Weather Channel is available to more than 96 million US households. It was established in 1982 and owns such popular websites as Weather Underground and has apps that are available in up to 40 languages. It's the digital assets, I think, that, uh, that will be the, uh, the attractive part of the business here. Um, their websites gather around 100 million visitors per month. The TV channel viewers, despite that deep reach, are actually quite light, but uh, as you might imagine, they do, they do you know, pick up dramatically when there are you know, major weather events in the US. Right, well, $3.5 billion dollars. Uh a chunky price was paid, that's all I can say. Yeah, I mean, I assume, I assume they've had some value out of it in, uh, in seven years, but uh, I don't know for definite, but they, they, it looks like they're quite happy to let it go at the moment.